All right, everybody, we're going to do something a bit transitory, something that's uh, a little bit easier for my soul, um, which is Partophilus. Partophilus is um, the character of the update. I currently have her at double S. Now, this is a rank that you guys will probably get much later. I have it a bit sooner because I, uh, I did spend $5 on her gacha. Sorry about that. I am a competitive player, and it's just uh, how the world works up here. Um, sometimes you just spend five dollars to have fun, you know. What do what do I? All right. So the build here, I guess we just do Anna, right? Where's my Anna set? Do I have it saved? Yes, I do. Why? Yes, I do. Uh, this is the forgeable one. Actually, the forgeable one is potentially more damage. I'm not exactly sure. I think because the pre has more attack, it's just clearly more damage, right? I, I don't know the tests on this. This is going to be relatively stress-free, I would say. Uh, Let's do... You know what? I kind of want to do the slot machine gamble. <laughs> If you guys want to have, like, the easiest time possible, you'd probably do this, I think. Mm, all right. All right. So the slot machine gamble is kind of dumb. It's pretty dumb, actually. That's what I'll say. You, I think you take the time, the, the one that gives you more silvers. You're just doing the get rich quick strat, right? Diamond hands. Hold your GME. All right, and the second one, hmm, I'm less sure about. I'm actually not exactly sure what's the best thing. I would imagine the the one that reduces the ultimate cooldown is good. Where is that one? Is there is there one that reduces the ult cooldown? Because I don't have the pre-equipped, so. Actually, this is better, right? Because you get more damage on the ult. That's, that should be better. So this is, okay, back to the slot machine debacle. This is a very dumb mechanic, I guess, is what you should say. Basically, you just, uh, you gacha in a gacha. And while you're rolling for doors, you're, you can roll for, uh, for 999 coins, which is, uh, I mean, it's great for her. I didn't even get a reverie door, so I'm just going to dip out. Okay, I'm going to be right back till I break the machine. Okay, um, I actually can't believe how little attempts that took. I'm not sure if it's, like, supposed to be not that mauled because, like, that's probably more likely than an S rank, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. That was, that was like, maybe three tries. Like, I mean, three uh, resets. And you get like five attempts, I guess, which is, um, I mean, it's interesting. I'll say that. All right. This is, uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest. It's a little loud for me. I don't know if the game feels loud to you guys. I know when I look back at my recordings, it's super quiet. But when I have my OBS settings, the, the, the game is actually, it's maxed out. So... The only thing I can imagine it is, is uh, my mic is quiet. That's the only, uh, oh, wait, no, no, that makes no sense, right? I don't really know what's causing it, to be honest, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I am realizing that my ult's on cooldown for a very long time, which is terrible. Uh, I'm realizing how much the pre matters now. So I think, uh, I think we need to look for an Elysidor. This is, uh... It's uh, not my bon appetit. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these VODs. I feel like uh, when I look back on it, I get embarrassed. Because I, I I feel like I'm just such a childlike person. <laughs> and like I get a little... Okay, these are great, right? The independent effect for... I mean, getting more coins is fantastic. Hmm, which one's better? I think the, the second one's better, maybe? Yeah, possibly. I really want Alicia. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely, I do. Yeah, but I was saying that. Uh, yeah, I'm just such a childlike person. It's just embarrassing me for me to like upload anything. So on that note, I get like really scared to press the upload button because, like, I don't know. So many people watching your video, it's like frightening. 
Um, I less I less so get scared on this channel. It's just uh, one reason why I made this channel is because I I don't know. I feel like I'm unpracticed. Like I'm not a real YouTuber. You know what I mean? This is kind of the first time I'm trying the YouTube thing. I would consider my main channel to not be a YouTube channel, is what I'm saying. This is more of a YouTube channel. Does that make sense? You feel me? This is my this is my uh my first go at it. Man, the old cooldown is insanely long. We really need to change that. That is uh that's that's that is that, that can't even be real. That's insane. Alright. Okay, I mean, turns out, guys, if you don't have the pre-arm, it's, it's a nightmare. So, we need that Elysidor. That's uh, that's for damn sure. Clear speed is crazy, though. Her damage is through the roof. I'm literally doing the coin ones. Oh, God. All right, well, we already have 2,000 coins, so this is uh, decent. Decent. We'll take the total damage. I need Reverie or... Oh, shit, do I get the coins if I just... I don't think I got the coins. You have to pick those up, right? Oh, no. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Uh, Yeah, make sure you pick up the coins at the end. I'm not entirely sure if it counts towards... Uh... What's it called? Maybe your ending coins. Like, if you just go into a gate, I think you don't get the coins. You really need to pick them up. I think I tested it once and I didn't get the coins. That's what I'm saying. You definitely need to be careful of that. I think this is going to be the first time I don't get the bonus reward, but that's fine. Because we got just lucky with the slot machine. You don't want to get lucky. I mean, probably going to have a rougher time with her. I think her... Her whole gameplay is, like, building up your coins, right? I mean, I think you can go build that doesn't rely on the Reverie build, but I just, like, I feel like this, the Reverie build was, like, basically made for her, almost. That's what I'll say. Like, who's going to play this character without the, the, the coins? It's, like, the whole point, right? Or, I don't know. It, it, it's just such a unique mechanic. That it would be more of a waste to not use it. I also think this character is... Uh, mm, I don't know. Her strength has been proving to be very strong. Like, we're starting to see her being used over Raven for fire teams, which is insane to me. Just absolutely insane. Uh, maybe that speaks to how weak Raven is more than anything else. But she ends up being a pretty good support for, like, any team. And her damage is pretty good as well. As you can see, she can clear this mode. Okay, well, I mean, I'm doing the slowest I've ever done on any character right now. But, uh, it is early game. You know, GME started out as, like, $2, right? But it eventually went to $200. That's basically the same idea here. Okay, one thing I'm not entirely sure about is how to execute imaginary enemies with Partophilus. I th I think I need to actually read her skill on that. Because I know it's not the weapon active, for sure. Uh, even though Raven does it with her weapon active, it's not exactly the same thing. Even though they both execute... Okay, we want the bonus coins. And now we have the three set, which is great. So now... Now we get a lot of coins. Stars is great. I don't think I can refuse a stars. I want an Elysidor first and foremost, but listen. Stars is just f all day. If I can get the red paint, like I see a red paint, I take a red paint. It's that simple. All right. I'll admit this gameplay is a little bit brain dead. Like, I'm not really, uh, it's not involved, is what I'll say. The enemies are just frozen, and I'm just spamming buttons. I feel like freeze teams have this aspect to them, 
The Silverwing team is perhaps the not the most non-interactive team I've ever seen. The enemy is just frozen, and you're pressing one button. Uh, how far has Honkai fallen? I get I get the argument that pressing one button is satisfying, and it gives you that uh, satisfaction without doing much work. But also, I mean, in the end, it is a game. You need some simulation of like achievement, right? I think I think if a, if something is that simple, it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be like strong, in terms of like ability. But that's just my take. All right. Relatively, mm, I mean, considering we don't have that many multipliers yet, this is actually decently. I don't have red. Okay, we'll take yellow then. Yellow's like that. It's just that side constellation prize. Just take see a yellow and you're just like, eh. I mean, at least it's something, right? All right, I, I'm gonna need an Elysidor to show up soon because the old cooldown is actually really bad. Okay, uh, perhaps I push in the Alicia Sigil. I think that's actually a decent idea. I care about this Alicia door more than anything else. How does this work? Reset the 600 charges. Every floor cleared. So I need to clear six floors. Five floors, I guess. Hmm. So, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm actually okay with this. I see in the shop I have Bodhi, and there's a Bodhi door. Uh, do I need, will I have SP problems? I don't think so. This is like the SP queen, right? Eden is also great. Okay. My controls are being a little bit wonky here. Um, I kind of like the idea of going Sakura. I think, first of all, I want to increase our coin gains. That's just an easy gimme, right? I forgot I'm playing Felis. I could just buy everything, right? Let's just monkey mode buy stuff. I'm going to buy the evasion one. Let's buy some Bodhi stuff. I think I might as well go for SP. Let's take this as well, because that'll help. And I might go Kevin. Why not take that? Uh, is it possible to take Hua? Is it possible Hua is decent? I mean, they're not going to attack me. Why wouldn't I take it? Uh, I just like bought the entire shop. Why not buy the entire damn shop? Okay, Bodhi's decent here. I think... I um, hmm. Yeah, Bodhi too, right? Because we could freeze the enemy. That's just one more debuff for Bodhi's like, uh, arsenal. I don't think we're going to get the Sigil, but I could be wrong. Signet. Sorry, not Sigil. Alright. I guess the SP was... Uh, actually, we don't ult near enough to get use out of the SP. So that kind of sucks. Kind of kind of not pog. Alright, let's move on to the next wave now. This is... Uh... I, I think it might be possible. Because these guys are imaginary, right? So... I have a sinking feeling in my mind. Okay, now the old cooldown is just too annoying. Yeah. I think before we get the old cooldown, there's just no universe where we get any semblance of a clear. So this is going to be the first run I ever do where I get zero double sig signets. Uh, which is, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not ideal. That's what I'll say. I know everyone who has gotten the pre-arm has had an easy time with this character. But this is the universe that you live in when you don't have the pre-arm. You just, you deal with the ult being on cooldown for an eternity. And it's just sad. And I'm not here for it. Oh, that's interesting. So I think I think with these smelters, each transition phase there, I shouldn't use the ult. I think the ult has properties which slow the timer, much like uh, HOR and uh, HOT. 
So what ends up happening is I think transitions might uh, be paused during it, which means it's probably a terrible time to use the ult when he's in that transitioning phase. This is going to be one of the worst timers I've ever seen in my life. I don't really want to reset. It's going to be it's going to be pretty sad. Let's just say that. I'm not afraid to say that the time on the clock is going to be really awful by the end of this. I'm actually wondering if I'm going to even be able to clear stuff like Hephaestus and stuff. But we really have an issue with stuff like the olds being on cooldown for so damn long. Oh my gosh. Also, the the buffs that I do have are not very useful. Like, the Bodhi buff I have has 60 combo and uh, the 25 hits, but I don't have any debuff or total damage applied to it. Or any enhanced signets, so this is kind of unfortunate. I don't have red paint, I only have yellow paint. Oh my god. It's just it's the most scuffed run ever. Uh, I, I, keep get, I get comments that are like, you are getting the most lucky runs ever. Actually, no, I don't think I get those comments. I mean, a few people have commented how many times I get Elysidors, but, like, uh... I get it, man. Like, when you get a good run, they're usually lucky. That's just how the Elysid run works. Well, I'm going to show you what happens when you get unlucky. You just don't get every perfect buff. All right, let's see. Um... No. We'll take... A taken is a better overall thing. Because later I'm going to have a lot of total damage, so we don't want to like actually dilute the pool very much. Eden is great because I'm always maxed out, but I I really want to... Alright, Stars is good. Stars actually is good. Uh, granted, I get a red paint, though I'm not entirely sure if that's going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully, I will. If I get black only, I'm going to be crying. Ugh. But I'm, I'm realizing how much the pre makes a difference. I did a couple runs with Felis without the or with the pre, and it was pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't have uh, this much uh, time that I had to spend uh, killing the enemy. So obviously, pre difference is real. It is a real thing. It's not a myth. Uh, holy shit. But, I mean, it's just so easy to play this character, though. Can you really complain that the, the clear speed is slow when... It's just so easy? This is what I'm talking about, where there has to be a good balance of, like, simplicity of play and speed, right? Something that is simple shouldn't be also fast. That's just... That's, just, uh, that's what we call OP, right? If it's if, if it's difficult to do, then I think it's balanced for it to be fast, right? That's, I'm not a game designer or anything, but uh, it's uh, just how I play. I feel as a player of this game. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you agree. I don't know. It's like ultimately, what am I doing here? I'm just spamming the damn charge attack. And uh, I, 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 I do have this uh, idea in my mind that uh, I don't actually like uploading videos that are l characters like this because I feel like they're too easy. <laughs> but I mean, I said I would do every character in the game, literally every character on the game, on finality difficulty. So when we get to characters like Dea and Korra and this character, it's like, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything special. But, I mean, the builds are probably what you're here for, right? That's what I'm thinking. Or, I guess in my head, uh, yes, red. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think I still have not found an Elysidor. Okay, great. What about soccer? Do I have two soccer's yet? No, I guess we're going to the shop then. I guess that's just what's going to happen. 
Okay, let's see what's in the shop first of all before I start ranting about. Uh... Yeah, okay. Great. So, why did I take this sig sigil again? I don't need it. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, okay, great, great. This is great for us. Uh, this is just. It can be great. That can be great. Vilfi's also kind of good. Yeah, Vilvi is just great, right? So, hmm. I'm gonna okay, I see a red and hot, I upgrade a red and hot. That's just easy. Um I think we take that for sure. There's no doubt in my mind that's a good option. Um I kinda wanna take some Vilvi buffs. Like she spams weapon active like mad, so it just makes sense. What's in okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Maybe I take... What do I What do I actually want to build? I want to build... I still want to build Reverie, actually. I didn't, like, actually complete Reverie. I just wanted an Elysiodor for reasons. You know what? I already have this many charges. Why not just keep the Sigil on so I can get an Elysiodor later? Mmm, more Elysiodor. So, okay. Because, like, what if I get unlucky on the Elysiodor, right? I don't want to, like, screw myself over. Let's take the Bill V buffs. That's good. What else do I want? Uh, the SP gen and the restoration is eh. I guess we just keep our, our stuff. I'm going to upgrade this uh, Eden. That's it. I think I think it's fine to just sit on everything, you know? Maybe I'll just upgrade these because they're cheap as all hell. And we'll just go to the Elysidor. I think once we get that ultimate cooldown reduction, uh, we're, we're sitting pretty tight, I think. The only thing I really want is more Reverie Doors because I want to get the Enhanced Signets because I think they're pretty fun to use. Personally, personally, that's what I think. All right, our damage is way higher now that we have red. That's my uh, thought process. Also, we have, like... Uh, just a sizable amount more buffs. Like, imagine having more buffs. This is what happens when you have more buffs. You start doing damage. Crazy, I know. There you go. We're doing five... I think that was five million. Or was that 500k? There's no way that was 500k. The Elysian Realm mobs have, like, insane HP. <clears throat> All right. I think before I was saying, like, uh, in my head, you guys are here for, for, I guess, the builds. Or, or if not, I guess just for me commentating over these. Okay, where's the... There we go, there we go. That's... The Megaton Furball is the ult, right? If it's not the ult, I'm going to cry. Pretty sure it is. Okay, okay. I don't have any resets. Oh my goodness. This is... Infinity is useless on her. And Eponia, I just don't have experience with. I guess I'm okay with Hua, even though I hate it. I just hate it. But I guess we just have to you go for it, huh? So I guess next floor we get another Elysidor, and... Uh... Man, this is not the build I wanted to go for. I'm gonna say it. This is not the build I wanted. This is certainly not. I wanted to do something else, which is way more fun, which is like a Sakura 2 build with Reverie. But uh, the cards didn't play out the way I wanted, is what I'll say. I don't know. Maybe I, I kind of want to like rerun some Valkyries sometimes, but I know I have a lot more Valkyries to play. So I just Maybe this is just okay for me. Up. I mean, my ultimate goal with this series is just to do finality with every character. Not necessarily to get the most fun builds in. I mean, I would have loved to get Sakura 2 in, to be perfectly honest with you guys. And Reverie could have seen a pretty cool combo. I think I, I, think I might. I think I might. I don't know. Might do it after I'm done with everything else personally i think i, I just want to get in a, a run with every character first and foremost and then maybe i'll do some fun builds that's what i'm thinking right now 
What I might do is I might do like uh, viewer viewer suggestions for like uh, I just say sh comment to build and I'll do it on the highest difficulty I can. Not necessarily signet build could be Valkyrie build or just Valkyrie straight up with uh, said gear. Could be a good idea, maybe. I don't know. Just kind of playing by ear right now. This is such a... I, I'm not entirely sure if I have enough damage to do Hephaestus right now. Maybe I'm going to get blocked by Hephaestus. This is the first run I've had where... Certainly, I feel like my damage is lacking. <clears throat> Certainly, it's lacking. Okay. Maybe we can get the building. I'm not sure yet. It, it might. It might be possible. There we go. Wow, two minutes on that floor is so disgusting. We'll see about Hephaestus. I'm. I'm. I'm very concerned with my ability to do this. Okay, we do have an Alicia. And we can use it, which I will absolutely use it. Absolutely. So what happens here, actually? Oh, it just re it replaces the middle one? Okay. I thought it would be funnier. I thought it would just replace all three with Alicia. It would be like that uh, DDLC meme. Let's see the, the damage here. It's looking actually really bad. Okay, ult's damage is decent, but uh, am I actually going to make it in terms of... I don't know. This is... I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. A little bit nervous about my ability to clear. Execution-wise, I'm fairly sure there's not much I can do. So if I just don't have the damage, the build was just too bad, and I just have to reset it. Because there's, I, there's not much you can do in terms of, like, uh, playing better. At least, in my opinion. It, it's relatively straightforward. You play the same thing. All their characters is like, okay, this thing could have went better. I could have done that. I could have rotated a little better. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I could, maybe I could just save my AE when I have my ult. Which is right now anyway, so it's fine. I think we have enough damage. This is good. Yeah, that cat slows the timer. That's insane. Sasuga Flame Chasers. So damn strong. Yeah. I'm curious if the timer at the end of this is going to be like 25 minutes. What an embarrassing clear time that would be. Just an embarrassing clear time. But I guess this is more of a realistic outlook of what uh, you can expect when you have a dog water damage. Is clears like this, where it's just like you're kind of just in the zen mode. Doing no damage. I think Felix just slows down the timer too damn much. She can't actually like lose. Look at this. Oh, no, it doesn't slow the timer down. That went from 107 to 106. That's interesting to me. I'm not exactly sure. Does it actually? I need, I need to. I'm mean, gonna stare at the clock. Is it 57, 56? No, it doesn't. Does it? It doesn't stop it. That's for damn sure. I think it slows it down though a little bit. Cause it's ticking down. Is it ticking down slower? I can't tell. So I I need to record a, a, a couple clips and, and compare the difference, because you can't really tell just by playing and just looking at it. Uh, some of these things are pretty uh, easy to miss, I think. And no one really tells you these details. All right. I got... I th hmm, what's best here? Pause Barrage. What is Pause Barrage? I hate how Elysian Realm just expects you to know every fucking name of skills. Like... Uh, can you can you fucking tell me what that even means, brother? Okay, I'll just take this one. Because it has a big number. I see big number, I take big number. 
Eden, huh? Hmm, but I don't have a... I don't think I actually have enough stuff. I think I want to go into the shop. Let's see. I really want a lot of things right now. Daybreak. Is this a... Reverie, great. Great. Uh, let's see, let's see. Blue and cold? No, no. Lost and found. This is okay. I like that. I like... Mm, not really. don't really like that. I don't like a lot of these things, actually. I think we I think we just max that out straight up. I think I do home lost. Actually, do I? Hmm. I could do three set Villa V as well. Which is interesting to me. It is an interesting uh ordeal I put myself in. <clears throat> Let's do something interesting. I think I want to use the the Vil V active sigil, which I have never used before, by the way. Not a single time. But, uh, oh, they take bonus physical damage? That is so... Oh, wait, that's actually not the one I was thinking of. Where is it? The Helix one. Is it this one? Decimation. This one, right? It just does massive damage, and you get charged for every weapon active. Let's try it. I am curious how strong it is. I think it's probably decently strong. Uh, we'll do Helix. We'll go there. I think we could take the Breach. Why not? Nothing else really speaks to me right now. Soccer would be, uh, like, what? Uh, I could get a three-set soccer. It's possible. It's possible. I'll take this. Why not? Um, anything else that's really speaking to me? Not really. Not really. Let's upgrade some stuff then. Let's upgrade, uh... I guess we just upgrade Helix. Why not? Uh, I could upgrade this. Okay. I think I'm okay with my build right now. We'll go Vil V. Not really happy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I said I was happy, but I'm not. We'll see. How, we'll see how... Uh, next few floors go. I, I I have a sinking feeling that it's going to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah. Just casually do 15 million damage. I love it. Okay, next. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not really happy with the run, but I'm going to upload it anyway. I want you guys to, to comment. Should I only upload a run that I'm happy with and I think is a cool build? Or should I just run, or should I just upload one of each character first and foremost and focus in on the next one? Because that would be a better use of my time. But I also, I also think that uh, perhaps it's better for me to upload just more quality runs. Let's see, what is this, range damage? Absolutely not. They, okay, making, okay, okay. I like the second one, so I'll take the second one. And I uh, get three set here, which is great. Okay, what do I take here? Daybreak, gold. I don't think there's any possibility I get the three set gold, but uh, I mean, it's worth a shot because the other two don't look good, is what I'll say. Okay, let's group these guys. I'm going to use this. I don't know how that's going to do. Wow. I don't know how much that was my ult and how much was the damn active. Okay. I think, I think we might actually make it. Oh, wow. Great. Wait a second. Ah, uh, that was a little bit awkward. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I might actually reset that because this guy has no HP left, which is uh, it's definitely something where you can you can get it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. 
Alright, alright, alright. I'm not upset at this run. Wow, wow, wow. We did this way faster than I expected to ever do it, ever. Does this hit them while they're in the air? Wow, it doesn't. Good to know. Good to know. That's great to know, actually. That's information I would have liked to know uh, much earlier than... Damn, that, I think the Sigil actually does mad damage. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The Sigil is just probably carrying my ass. I just kind of got carried by it. I'll take the total damage, obviously. I'm like max SP all the time. Uh, Yeah, yeah, more max SP. Great for me. Great for me. Eden 2 is always better. I don't, I don't know if there's a universe where you ever take Eden 1. I just, I don't, I just don't see it if there is. Okay. I think this is HOD. Should be relatively easy, I guess. Let's see. Could be wrong, perhaps. I don't know. That damage was below what I expected it to do. I won't, I won't lie to you guys, but, uh. Oh, look at that. Ultimate evasion. We're getting a little fancy here. Oh, ho, ho. I, I'm now realizing that she's actually a decent user of Eden 2 because I used my ult before Eden 2 runs out, which is crazy to me that that can even happen. Great, we're already on the core. I'm going to use this as well. This is she's, HOD is just going to get rolled. Holy moly. This is this is the power of uh, I guess Reverie. It's just uh, the scaling into the late game. It's just uh, uh, insane. It's it's crazy how how much damage I'm doing right now. Despite being like one of the weakest Valkyries I have ever seen in the early game. Wait a wait just a second here. That's not that's not okay. You can't just live with that much HP. Oh God. I'm I'm cringing a little bit, and this is going to fluff the time. But uh, whatever. I don't really want to reset it, guys. I don't really want to. Uh, sometimes you just got to take the loss. Sometimes you got to take the minus thirty seconds. Because HOD lives with like a, a, a minute amount of HP. If I knew how to execute with Felis, I probably would have uh, not had to deal with that. What do I take here? I personally feel like Mobius is not the play. I I think I want to try Kalpis because I've never fought this uh, man. And I, I'm i curious. This will add some flavor to the run is trying Kalpis. Let's try this again. This man is, is about to get uh, rocked, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I, w I could do without all the blurring. Okay. So far, I, I don't see what he's doing. I have my ult. Is this the second phase already? No, not really. Is the answer to that question. Okay, we got cutscene gaming. What the f What the hell? Macalpus is in active Honkai reaction. Oh. Oh, what the? Dude, I was not prepared to actually fight immediately after you. What do we have here? Oh, he has a freeze trauma thing. That's interesting. Is this boss meant for Partophilus then? Okay. Or maybe Ice Valkyries. Like, maybe if I do Argent Knight, I could do this boss. But why would I do this boss? I guess, I guess Elysia is kind of cringe. Okay, I guess, I guess you, I guess you do this boss if you can freeze only. What the hell? Where is he? That's a lot of freeze trauma. Wait, what? What is he doing? Uh oh, I'm scared. This guy's actually scaring me. What the hell? Save me, Vilvi. I'm not applying any freeze trauma to this guy. What the hell? Now am I? Alright, guys. I'm a clown. Just don't listen to my advice. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I am pressing buttons like a monkey is what I'm really doing. <clears throat> I think the build is just too strong. Like, even though I don't know what I'm doing, the, the damage is just there. 
Like, you can't really go wrong, I feel. Oh, what the hell is going on? Uh, he's regening. I don't like this. Okay. Interesting. Interesting run. I'm expecting a, like, 25-minute run. Something crazy like that. 20. <laughs> what an embarrassingly long time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll say this. I didn't get anything I wanted. And not a single thing I wanted. But, I mean, I was, like, I didn't reset a single time either. I think the character is just easy to play. Pretty practical. I think if you, if you, everyone has part of Felix, right? Just get an Anna set. You can try her out. I think if you just are patient enough to get the slot machine in the beginning, which is, I mean, it's relatively, <laughs> relatively not as annoying as you might think. It's actually quite easy. You can check my affixes. They have nothing to do with this. Uh, Heavy and Scythe is nothing. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty stress-free. You could try it.